Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be looking at the Bunker RDA. This is by Asmodis. It is a 24 millimeter in diameter RDA and it does do single coil only. Um, I'm going to take you down. The best part about this is you can use really, really big coils for a single coil RDA. I think that it's really, really great. And this is going to cater more to those that like the really big exotic single coil RDAs. This is probably what you're going to, you've been looking for. So let's go ahead and go down. We'll take a look and then we'll come back up and take a look at the Bunker RDA by Asmodis. Okay, so here we are with the Bunker RDA. This is by Asmodis. This is the packaging that it comes in, which I think is really, really cool. It's kind of like this little rubbery thing here. Sort of looks like a tire. I like that. It does have your scratch off authenticity here. It's also going to give you some kit contents right on the back to tell you what's included. And then to open it up, you just like half screw it off like this. In the bottom, you're actually going to be getting like your specifications for the RDA. So it's gonna give you some information. It's made out of stainless steel, uh, 24 millimeter by 33 millimeter, what the inclusions are, how to take it fully apart to clean it, and then what it looks like for the top cap and build deck and other things. It also tells you to be sure to know your ohms law, which is very important. You're also gonna be getting this little um, kit here. This will come with some coils here. It's actually got a coil in there. It is a triple fuse Clapton if you wanna go ahead and use that. Some extra O-rings. You've also got a regular 510 here. Um, if you don't wanna use it for squonking, the squonk pin is automatically installed in it. And then some extra screws. So I love that they provide that. You're also gonna get two Allen keys. One is for removing the Squonk 510 and putting in the other one. And then the other is for the actual um, RDA itself to get the screws out. Then if you push this through, so inside you're gonna get your RDA and then you're gonna get a spare glass. I know, spare glass for an RDA, yes. Here you go, this is the glass. It's actually to replace the glass that's on here. To actually get to the glass, what you're gonna do is just unscrew this like this and then you can actually um, take out your glass here and change it out so it does come with a spare glass for your use um, yeah so you do get that spare glass which I think is nice if anything comes with glass I think that you should receive a spare one so as well as the top, as you can see, this is the top side of it. It's very, very nicely threaded here. It's got some nice knurling on the top. You've also got this 810 drip tip. Now this is not a standard 810 drip tip. This is actually the 810 drip tip that has the whole the O-rings on it. There is no O-ring here, so the best bet is to use one of those 810 drip tips that actually has O-rings on it in order for it to fit snug on here like this. On the front, it does have the Osmodis sign on it. On the other side, it's also got the sign on it. You do have dual airflow, one here, one there, and they do angle up. I'm gonna show you in a second. On the bottom, again, this is a 24 millimeter RDA. And again, the squonk pin is included. Now this does have a gold trim. Pretty much all of them, the gold, black, and blue have the gold trim and the gold deck but the stainless steel one actually has a stainless steel trim, but a gold deck. So that's the only one that does not have this gold um, lip here. So to take it apart further, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on here because we are gonna be squonking on here anyways. And then I'll take this part for you. Now, when you take this whole piece off like this, the glass is actually in place so you can see it there. There is actually a notch here and a notch here, and those actually go into the notches that are right here. It's sort of like a slide notch thing for your airflow, so that you can adjust your airflow, but it's always gonna be hitting the coils. And then you've got one on this side as well. Now your airflow, as I mentioned, it actually angles upwards. So you've actually got airflow here, but it's angling down, as you can see right there, if I put my tweezer in the inside, it's going down. So you do have airflow going down and it's pretty high up. You do still wanna be careful when squonking to make sure that you don't go past this line or you will have leaking. Um, you've got a post here and a post here. Once you unscrew these, it'll actually open up and it does have a lip on either side to actually trap your leads into place. The build deck is pretty open. This is actually nice for, you can literally do like a four millimeter or really, really exotic coil in it because this deck is so open. I don't understand why the focus is going out. There we go. 
Um, but yeah, so you can actually put bigger coils in this, which I do like. I think that some people do like to have bigger coils, so this would actually be the device. With the squonk pin in it, if you notice, it's got it right there, so there's going to be e-liquid coming out of there and on this side as well. Again, you will have airflow that is angled down. You do want to be careful. Now, when you first get it, these O-rings are going to be a little bit tight, so you do want to go ahead and lube them up. I've already done that. I've already cleaned it and brought it back and everything else, so I've already got mine clean. So let's go ahead and open up those um, screws so that we can start building on this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this one up. Let me tighten it down first. Okay, and start opening this one. And they're really, really smooth threading. As you can see, when it's opening up, it's actually gonna open all the way up like that. And then you've got all this space here, plus a lip on it. And do the same on this side. It's all the way open with a lip on it, just like that. So I love it when it does have the lip because it makes it a lot easier to trap your leads inside so that you don't have to worry about it like sliding out when you're trying to build on it. So let's go ahead and get a coil and start building. Now for today's coil, I'm actually gonna be using an alien coil from Coil Clout. If you go to coilclout.com, use code Wendy, you'll actually get 10% off of this. And what I do is I actually stretched out the legs. I put one on each side. So I just took off like a half a wrap and I have one leg facing either way. Now on this build deck, you can build this way and you can build this way. Unfortunately, being that they only gave you the two sides, you know, this one way to do it, you can't really do it the other way. So you would have to actually, like in my case, put the coil face down, but it's not a problem because we can always lift it up so that it's not too high or too low. So we'll fix that once it's already installed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the one leg in here. And I don't know why I try to do this without my handy dandy screwdriver, because I always use this. And put one leg in here. So there we go. One leg there, one leg here. There we go, look how easy that was. And just I wanna put it where it's actually centered. Right there is good for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and screw those down. There we go, keep that right, right about there. Okay, okay, and then screw this one down. Easy peasy. It's like, can't get any easier because it's already trapping your legs and everything. And then just make sure that you have that centered just like that and it's, it's literally that easy. Now being that this is actually face down coil, I am gonna lift it up some so that it's not touching that 510 pin. And I do want the airflow to be able to go right underneath the coil. So this is where I'm gonna put it right there. And you can see the airflow coming in from that side, the airflow coming in from this side. I'm actually gonna lift it up just a little bit more. There we go. That seems to be perfect for me. So I'll go ahead and clip the leads. When you are clipping the leads, you do wanna make sure that you're getting it as flush to this as possible because of that top cap. So go ahead and do it like this. And again, as flush as possible. There we go. And that's all you need to do. Let's go ahead and start dry firing this. I'm gonna get my handy dandy tweezers. And then we'll start pulsing this. I'm just gonna try to separate it just a little bit on this side and separate it just a little bit on this side. I am having a little bit of OCD there. Okay. Now these angle like upwards, so they're not even, which kind of, if you have OCD, be careful with that. So it's like a little slide on both sides. And then you just want to pulse and pull and pulse. And go almost done. Little tiny bit of scraping, not too much. And there we go. Yes, a little bit more. I do see a hot spot right over there. There we go. Get those out. Very, very important to get those hot spots out. Okay, there we go, glowing evenly from the inside out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some cotton and then we'll get started. Today's cotton, I'm gonna be using my Kendo Vape Cotton Gold Edition. And I've just got a piece, I'm just gonna go ahead and twist this up and then we'll insert it. Get that nice and pointy there. And pull that through, grab my tweezers. I don't even know where they are, there we go. Grab that piece right there, pull it through. 
go. Already in there, nice and in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and fluff that out. And this has a pretty deep juice well. I do like this juice well a lot. And again, you see how big the, the space is? This is a three millimeter coil and it's not even taking up too much space at all. So that's always good. And then you're gonna cut it right to about like the bottom of the deck is probably where I'm gonna um, like it. That's where I've been cutting it. So I just take it and put it right inside and there you go. Look at that. It fits absolutely perfectly. Just lay that one in, there we go. And then I'll show you the squonking action as well. So ready, let's squonk. Look how even that is. Now again, you wanna be careful because that airflow is right there. You see that airflow right there? There it is right there. So you wanna be careful when you're squonking that you do not wanna go above that. So like one good squonk is probably good. Now, whenever you first um, do wick up any of your coils, you do wanna go ahead and prep it first. Um, and then you can squonk it once it's been done the first time. I always like to make sure that the cotton is saturated within the coil first before I even start vaping it so I don't get any dry hits, no problem with um, the liquid not being inside the coil and being able to wet the wicks from inside the coil and out. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime up my coil like I usually do. Doesn't matter if I'm squonking or dripping, I do it the same exact way because you always want that first initial time to be really, really saturated. And go there. I don't even have to do the sides too much. See, it's already wet. I haven't even put no, none on the sides. It's coming out absolutely perfectly. So there we go. Now, again, you do have these viewing windows so that you can view your e-liquid. Um, there you go. And you can also view your coils. Now, the airflow, again, you can adjust it and it's gonna be able to stay in place because of the fact that it does have these notches. So you do wanna find those notches and you're gonna go ahead and put it down and it can be anywhere within those slots and it's gonna lay evenly like that. Now this little bit here, I actually had when I was um, filling it. And there we go, and then you just turn your airflow like that. So my airflow is turned, and now it's a little bit closed, and then it's open. So that's pretty much it. You can see it in the window. And let's go ahead and have a vape. So let's meet you on top, and we'll talk about it. Okay, so now we're back on top with the Bunker RDA by Asmodis. Let's go ahead and have a vape before anything. I want to show you something. Watch this. That's a single coil. Yeah. Um, for those of you that like single coils with a lot of airflow, for those of you that like single coils to chuck clouds, this is it. Yeah, it definitely, definitely does that. Nice, dense clouds. You're getting really, really good flavor. The only thing that might be a little subjective is gonna be that glass window. It does get condensation on it and fogged up a little bit when you're vaping it, but after a while it will go away or if you squonk and you tilt it, um, some e-liquid will get on it and it'll clear it out of the way a little bit. Also, if you blow it down, sometimes that helps and sometimes it'll just fog it up more. But yeah, so that is the Asmodis Bunker RDA. I'm gonna close it down a little bit. I've got it about halfway down now. Let's close it about halfway. Still, still a cloudy little shit, let me tell you. It, it, it really is. Um, the flavor on it is really good. It's not necessarily the best flavor I've had, but it's really, really good. I would definitely give this like maybe like an eight, 8.5 in flavor scale. It's really, really good. Um, I love the looks of it. I do love the looks of it. I'm going into pros right away if you haven't noticed. I love the looks of it. I like it with the glass window. It's just that with the glass window, of course, it's gonna fog up. It's just, it's science. It's gonna fog up. There's nothing you can do about it. But um, I think that, under airflow or the the upper airflow or upper facing airflow really enhances the flavor because it's getting right underneath that coil. It's bringing out all that flavor. It's really, really nice. I do like that because it's sort of like a bottom, but it's really a side airflow. Kind of tricky, but it does it. Um, I like the boreness of the drip tip. It's not too bored out, but it is bored enough for me. Um, I like it probably because aesthetically it looks like a big bore. So for me, it tricks my mind. So I do like that. 
Another thing I do like is that it does come with a regular 510 pin, so you can switch it out. If you don't want to squonk with it and you want to use it as a dripper, you can switch it out, but it does come with the squonk pin already installed. I do like the build deck. It's so easy. Now, that's... It's very, I'm going to get to the cons in a minute, but it's really, really easy. All you do is you put your coil, your coil legs in, you're going to either raise or lower your coil. You, the wicking channel is really, really nice. It's got a really nice deep juice well. I think the only thing is, is that being that, let's go over to the cons now, being that the airflow is nice, it's very, very nice. And it is here, um, where the airflow is, if you squonk it too much, it can come out the side. So you want to be careful when you squonk it don't over squonk it or you'll have some come out now i just usually just give it one good squonk and i can usually see if my my um cotton is saturated and that's that's enough another um subjective con is going to be on the deck it's only got two screws i wish it had it on four ends that way no matter if your legs went this way or the opposite way you can actually put it in at the rate that it's going the way that it's been built um you can either put them in regular if the legs are facing the right way and if they're not just flip it upside down and you can still install it except for your coil might be under you know the legs rather than over the legs but as long as you raise or lower your coil level you're going to be just fine it's super super easy to put in um i did forget to mention the little lip on the notches where the legs go in is definitely a pro for me i have to have those or my coil legs go everywhere they never sit right Never, never without those. So I, I do like that. Um, other than those couple things and also the 810 not being a true 810, I really wish that this was a true 810 where I can use my regular 810 drip tips. Um, other than that being, the, that's pretty much the last con I have on this. I think that it, it works really well. It vapes amazingly. I love the cloud production. The flavor is really good. It works on any squonk mod that you have. You can have it for dripping or you can have it for squonking. Either way, it's going to be great. And yeah. The machining looks absolutely beautiful. I know that the gold can throw some people off, but it does look absolutely greatly machined. I don't have any problem with that. Um, this gold trim, I'm not a fan of, but I can work with it. But I, I, I really wish that they didn't put the, the gold trims. If they did make up, make the trims the same color as the top cap or bring the top cap all the way down. But that, that's pretty much it. Another, um, thing they do come in four colors. I want to remind you stainless steel, blue, gold, and black. Um, and if you Google them, they run anywhere from 36 to $40. So if you're looking for a single coil RDA that you can put the big coils in that has massive, massive airflow for a single coil RDA, this is definitely it. So that's pretty much it for my review. As Modus did send this my way for the review, I have given you everything that I can about my opinions and how I feel about this RDA. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave it below and let me know your thoughts on single coil RDAs. Are they for you? Leave it down in the comments and let me know how you feel about single coil RDAs. And I will see you in the next one.